So, hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjit and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome back to my channel. As you know, I make videos about health and healthcare topics and I give you the most latest and most reliable information about your concerned healthcare topic, why you get sick and how you can get better. This information is directly referenced from the internationally accepted US National Medical Library so you can trust the information given in my videos. So today I'm going to talk about fiber, dietary fiber, how it is very helpful. It has been said so many times all over the internet, all over from your doctors that you need to have a high fiber diet. It is very helpful for so many conditions. High fiber diet tends to improve your constipation, your heart disease risk, your hemorrhoids, diabetes, diverticular diseases, your cholesterol problems, irritable bowel syndromes, colorectal cancer risk. Even patients with cancer can actually have lesser symptoms and slow growth of cancer because of a high fiber diet. So high fiber diet is very, very helpful. So let's try and give you some tips and understand what high fiber diet is, how we can actually benefit from this. So let's start. If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified about all upcoming videos. How much fiber do you actually need to take so guys the recommended intake of fiber in your diet is anywhere between 20 to 35 grams per day and on an average a person takes 10 to 15 grams only all over the world only so what you need to do you need to double double your daily fiber intake so what is this fiber? Where does it come from? There are two basic types of fiber, soluble fiber and insoluble fiber. What do you mean by them? Insoluble fiber is coming from cereals, all the wheat, all the wheat bran, all the whole grains. They are a source of insoluble fiber and soluble fiber are coming from the brands <coughs> soluble fiber is coming from the fruits vegetables oat oats oatmeal xylem and sometimes from the brands so soluble and insoluble fibers are the two basic types of fibers it's not like that you need only soluble or you need only insoluble. You need to keep a balance. You need to take both soluble and insoluble types of fibers. Therefore, eating whole grains, eating vegetables and fruits, both everything is required to have a mixed and very nutritious mixed diet. So the idea is to keep your daily fiber intake stable. You cannot do that eat very very high fiber diet on one day and then for a week you don't eat fiber at all that's not healthy but sometimes you do need a high fiber diet especially if you are traveling if you are eating away from home very often then you should have a high fiber diet or if you find it difficult to get enough fiber through foods or food choices alone then you do need to have a high fiber intake but don't shock your system. Increase this fiber level gradually in your diet because if you take a lot of fiber suddenly, the fibers can actually form gas and make your stomach uncomfortable. Always increase fluids when you increase fiber. Water, soups, broths, juices, anything works, any fluids. Always increase fluids when you increase your fiber both soluble and insoluble fibers are required from variety of dietary sources so how you can do that you can substitute your low fiber foods your high fatty foods with high fiber food so what are the high fiber foods first is fruits and vegetables the fruits 
which have the highest amount of fiber includes apple that's why one apple a day keeps a doctor away <laughs> so apples pears eat with the skin apple and pears berries blackberries blueberry raspberry dates prunes and figs so all these are fruits which have a high fiber content coming on to vegetables vegetables beans baked beans black beans slimas and pintos broccoli chickpeas lentils then pumpkins and squash in winter then you have peas i already said peas i guess but actually all vegetables are good in fiber so you can take any vegetable you like then there are some cereals which are good in fibers other things like barley breads and muffins made up of whole wheat or bran then cereals bran flakes oatmeal shredded wheat coconut crackers of rye or oat or whole wheat then nuts like almonds brazil nuts peanuts walnuts pecans rice brown rice then seeds pumpkin seeds sunflower seeds all these have a good fiber content so you can include more of these fruits vegetables and these whole grain foods into your diet to include fibers more fibers you need to double your fibers eating high fiber foods is a very healthy choice for most people if you have ever received a medical treatment for a digestive problem then it is very important for you to check with your doctor to find out if a high fiber diet is the right choice for you or else you can safely go and eat high fiber diet so that's all for today guys i hope you had a good information about this and uh, many other videos are there on my channel to check out and all the information is very authentic and very simplified so do check out the videos do find out find out information about your health concern and write to us if you have any questions or if you have any requests on video subjects and uh, those who don't know me i am a consultant physician in the ashoda super speciality hospital nehru nagar delhi ncr and this is my channel i upload videos on a daily basis and i'm kind of liking it and so please give me your support as much as possible like and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon till next time i'm dr paramjit you're watching doctor education stay connected stay healthy then you can sometimes take sub what your problem <coughs> do find out do find so what how you can actually do sometimes 